There was a cool sight in the sky last night. Did you see it? It was a total eclipse of the moon. The first time a lunar eclipse has occurred on the same day of the winter solstice since 1638. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astrophysicist, the director of the Hayden Planetarium here in New York. Doctor, good to see you. Good, good to be morning. Back. Thanks. So Thank let's you. go back to elementary school. What exactly is a lunar eclipse? A lunar eclipse, our Earth has a shadow in space at all times. Right. There's no occasion to take notice of that until something that's lit by the sun enters it, and that's what happened last night. The full moon crossed into the shadow. You can show us I here. I can show right? you right here. Do I live on the basketball or the grapefruit? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Okay. <laughs> so, so we've got the sun, yeah. and we've got the earth lit up. That's right. daytime. They're not seeing the eclipse. Okay. Here's the moon in orbit around the earth, and slowly it enters earth's shadow and darkens. Like How that. cool is that? Now, okay. differing from a solar eclipse? Okay, so a solar eclipse, that, okay, I can show you that. That's like, okay, so a solar eclipse, okay. Are you kidding the, me? The moon yeah. goes. You just, you just so happened that. to have it on your tie. I'm sorry. You have to. I'm so, I'm, I've got to be prepared. <laughs> I don't so, even want to know what a tsunami is. Forget that. So, the, so on a solar eclipse, the, the moon moves in front of the sun, blocking out the sun, turning daytime into night. Okay. And this is a very high, intense moment, and it only lasts a few minutes. Let me this, re- thing, I gotta, this thing, what I just showed here, took three hours. Right. And, so, and you tweeted about it yesterday, you astrophysicist, <laughs> and you said, it's the longest, slowest, most boring of celestial spectacles. Yes, we'll be right back after a commercial. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> No, this, what I just showed here, what I just showed here, that, that whole thing took three hours. Right. So I, I, I watched it last night, and it took on a nice, deep amber color. It gets that reddish glow uh, It didn't it? get red this time. No? It got, like, grade A dark amber maple syrup color okay. last night. Right. I, I, may, I might have been hungry. I don't know. <laughs> but that was the color. And, but I watched maybe the first uh, half hour, but then I went to sleep. Because <laughs> the whole, you, the whole thing just repeats. The rest? Is that what it was? <laughs> it repeats out the other side, and I can't, you know. All I, right. So we have the winter solstice. Yes. So the, cl- the sun is as close to the Earth as it ever is. No, no, no. 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 In fact, it's the opposite of it's that. It's as far away from yeah, the it Earth? It just turns out. It, that tells you that our distance to the sun has nothing to do with our weather. So that, how far was the sun from look, the Earth the sun, last night? Oh, no, no. It, the distance has nothing to do with the solstice. Really? Yeah, no, no. So it turns out we will be closest to the sun on January 4th or 3rd, somewhere around there, and we'll be 91 million miles close to the sun. Three million miles closer than we are in July. So that's a whole other, that's a different show. Let me we see would the do. tie again. <laughs> What's <laughs> <that>? <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. Doctor, good to see you. All right.